Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Episoft. Uh, so we have four names on the docket from last night. Uh, we're going to start off with the Blackhawks and the Islanders. Um, so in the first period, um, in 609, Brock Nelson scores the Islanders um, from Hudson Fashing and Kyle Palmieri. Second period, uh, Boris Ratchik scores from Sanford and Johnson at 1807. Uh, Joey Anderson will score from Colin Blackwell and Jason Dickinson, former Canuck, at 1914. Uh, third period, Dickinson scores, former Canuck, um, from Anderson and Seth Jones at 510. Uh, Horvat, another former Canuck, would score from uh, Barzell and Dobson at 638. Uh, Palmieri would score from Dobson and Romanov at 1250. Tied up. And then in overtime, uh, Seth Jones scores 22 seconds from Katrick and Dickinson for Canuck. Um, so Chicago takes that one 4 3, and this may have resulted in their prior head coach, I guess, now for the Islanders, uh, losing his job and being replaced with Patrick Waugh. So Islanders under new, a new bench boss, maybe because of that game. Who knows? Uh, moving on to Minnesota and Florida, where my Minnesota reverse retro. This is the reverse retro, not the alternate. It's got the orange shield um, and no shoulder patch, obviously. Um, so in the first period between Minnesota and Florida, um, we got Kirill Kaprizov scoring from Boldy and Favor on the power play at 2.49. Second period, Ekblad scores at uh, 35 seconds in from Kachuk and Verhege. Um, Ryan Hartman would score for the Wild at 3.22 from Golgowski and Papirin on the power play. Uh, Brock Faber would score from Boldy and Eric Snake on the power play at 7.36 this second. Zuccarello would add another one at uh, 10.32 from Eric Snake and Kaprizov also on the power play. So three straight power play goals for the Wild. Um, Adulis Sarayan would score um, at 18.27 this second from Lundell and Ekblad. Uh, third period, uh, Kaprizov scores at, from Matt Zuccarello and Brock Faber on the power play again at 41 seconds. Um, and yeah, the first uh, goal for the Wild was also on the probably. Um, and then uh, Anton Liddell would score at 8.05 from Ekblad and Reinhardt. Uh, Forcing would score at 8.23, the third from Ekblad. And then Hartman would score unassisted into the empty net, so that's technically with the man advantage as well at 19.48. Um, no, that's shorthand, it would be shorthand. Anyways, um, Minnesota with five straight uh, power play goals. Um, they get the win 6-4, so good for them. Florida on a bit of a slide here. I think they lost two straight, two, three straight, something like that. Anyways, now moving on to Detroit and Carolina. Um, so in the first period, uh, Detroit opens up the scoring. It's uh, Clint Costin scoring from Valeno and Sprung at 227. Um, 314, Jordan Martinez scores from Brent Burns and Jordan Stahl. Uh, Natchez would score from Bunting and Orlov at 1625 the second. Uh, J.D. Comfort would score for the Red Wings to tie it up in 1917 from Larkin and Gossespair on the power play. Third period at 10.46, uh, Svechnikov would score from Bunting and Aho on the power play. And then Aho would score at 18.44 from Natchez and Svechnikov into the empty net to give Carolina a 4-2 win. They take that one. And then finally, the New Jersey Devils and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, so in the first period, um, Cole Sillinger scores from Chinnikov and Goudreau at 421. Uh, John Marino will then score from Nemich at 28 seconds of a second. At 840, um, Holt scores from Camfoot and Max Willen. Uh, he shows score and assisted at 1331. And then Bastion would score from Ball at 1443. Third period, there's no scoring. Yeah, so the Devils take that one 4 to 1. Um, and that's it for tonight. Um, so hit like if you liked it. Subscribe if you really liked it. And I'll see you all for a review of tonight's games tomorrow. Adios.